Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot Your Love Story for the month of April 2019 and this is for you coming from Libra. So let me shuffle the cards for you and the first card that I pull, but before that I'd like to give you my email address which is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O-9, the number 9 at gmail.com. Send me an email if you have any questions for me. Now, for you coming from Libra, the first card I pull will be for the first 15 days of April and we're going to talk about your ongoing romance. It's a nasty card. It says if you find a new romance, it's going to be a very nasty one. So don't dive into it. Try to take your time. Think carefully for this first 15 days of April or you might make a very big, a very big bad mistake in the first 15 days of April with this new romance that may be heading for you. What about your ongoing romance? Let me pull the card. This is not so bad. So the ongoing romance, all it needs to be is either your temperament, which means your ego and your bad temper and the way you have a low tolerance for people, to control that. And if it's your ongoing partner who behaves that way, be more understanding. It's only first 15 days we are talking about, not first 15 weeks. So let the 15 days pass as quietly as possible and try to show your understanding to keep your ongoing romance as happy as possible. Now I'm going to talk to you about your marriage in the first 15 days of April. See what this card says for you. It is also not a bad card. Two issues are seen. Firstly, you are not paying enough attention to your marriage, the card says. And the reason for that, there will be misunderstandings and there will be frustration in these first 15 days of April. So be tender, be loving, be kind, be flexible, be appreciative and you'll be able to make your marriage do much better. There is a, a, a planet here called Mercury which represents arguments for you coming from Libra. So try not to be argumentative in the first 15 days where your marriage is concerned and you will do much, much better. Now let's go for your last 15 days of April and now start talking about a, a new romance for you coming from Libra. It's a much better card. He says, if you find a romance in the last 15 days, it could be a very good one. It could be the start of finding happiness for yourself. So go ahead with a new romance in the last 15 days. It'll be a much more understanding one. And what about your ongoing romance? Let's see what the card says. Your ongoing romance is definitely going to improve a lot in the last 15 days. You're going to have plenty of good possibilities. And this is the card of shelter, which means caring for somebody. So your, your ongoing romance partner could be very caring for you or you should be very caring and you will have a wonderful last 15 days about your ongoing romance. Now about your marriage. So let's see what this card says. Regarding your marriage. It's a card that says, Take it easy and let go. So don't hold on to any grievances in the last 15 days of April where your marriage is concerned. Let go. Take it easy. Take the soft approach and you will see that situation start to improve beautifully. So when you take the soft approach, you're actually welcoming your marriage partner to become peaceful again. So, so that would be a good idea. Use words which are soft, a tone of voice which is soft, a body language which is soft. And your marriage in the last 15 days will improve leaps and bounds. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky ages. There are going to be some people of these ages revealed by the card for the month of April who are going to be very lucky in romance and marriage. Well, if you happen to be the ages of 15 or 24 or 33 or 42 or 51, or 60, or 69, or 78, you're going to be one very lucky person where romance and marriage is concerned. So go hunt for the new one and your ongoing romance will blossom and your marriage will be very much under control and be very happy. 
If you are not of these ages, then you'll have to see me for a 90-minute session for which I charge USD 50. And based on your date of birth, time of birth, and looking at your palms, I'll be able to talk to you about your next seven, eight, or nine years in all areas of your life, including the business, including the job, including your health and the love and romance as well. Now, this card which I pull has got to do with your lucky colors. So the lucky colors for you coming from Libra, from this card, I see the sign of Venus and the Moon. So I'm going to settle down for the color turquoise. So wear plenty of turquoise in this month of April and you will attract a lot of good luck for the romance and the marriage areas and to bring them into a very safe passage of month of April, making you very happy. Now I will go to your direction energy. So there are nine planets placed around Earth and when you look left, you look right, you look straight, you look back, you're going to be facing a planet or another. So for the month of April, my advice for you to be inspired and be lucky in romance and marriage would be to face northeast. Face northeast and you become very, very lucky. So do that as much as you can. Face northeast and you'll be inspired to get the romance and marriage areas perfectly under your control and made very happy. Now about your lucky days, for you coming from Libra. So what do the card say? And the card, uh, and the card says, well, it, all right, I'm going to settle down for Fridays. So the Fridays in the month of April for you coming from Libra are going to be very special where romance and marriage is concerned. So bookmark these days, go out, have a good time, dress well, look good, and something wonderful can happen for Fridays for you. And now about a zodiac sign a zodiac sign that's going to create a lot of problems for you. Let's see who this person is to going to cause you some misery. And looking, you see Kabbalistic cards give zodiac signs and planetary signs. And from here I'm worried that somebody from Virgo is going to give you a lot of trouble. You're coming from Libra, somebody from Virgo for the month of April. So whether it's a new romance, whether it's an ongoing romance, whether it's the marriage, if they are from from Virgo, you have to be very cautious in how you deal with this person. So many misunderstandings are being coming about from a person called Virgo. And especially if you find a new romance, don't dive into it, take your time. Now I'm going to talk to you about who you can form attachment to. You're coming from Libra for the month of April. And this person would be coming from Cancer. So somebody from Cancer is going to show a lot of interest for you, either new romance and if you are having a boyfriend or a girlfriend who is from Cancer or your marriage partner Cancer, it will go down very well for you as well. But we are talking here of a new attachment. So the new attachment would be from somebody from Cancer, the card says. So figure it out if you're interested from somebody in cancer or somebody from cancer is interested in you, I would say go right ahead for the month of April. You'll have plenty of good luck. Well, that's my news for you for the month of April. Now regarding this 90 minute session based on your date of birth, your time of birth, looking at your palms, I'll give you a lot of information about your personal lucky lottery numbers, your lucky days, your lucky gemstones, your lucky colors, your lucky directions, a lot of energy from the universe and I'll tackle your next seven, eight or nine years and talk to you about your job, your business, your finances, your romance, your marriage and your health. So my email address, andyhoro9, shoot me an email, andyhoro9 at gmail.com, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O -O 9, the number 9, at gmail.com and I'll answer your questions. Until then, thank you and good luck.